Diversity, equity, justice, and inclusion is important for the tech startup space and for our specifically climate tech or circular economy, more so for the youth that we're trying to inspire. We need to inspire those to be a part of this movement and to really prioritize focusing on education that's gonna get them interested in the careers that we need a pipeline for. I think there are many challenges faced by minority and women entrepreneurs. Representation is a really big challenge, not seeing ourselves represented in a lot of startups, especially in this industry and hardware startups in particular. When we bring more diversity and inclusion into the tech world, we're also basically becoming the role models for young women who are looking at potential tech careers when they're in high school and they don't know what they want to do or whether, whether it's right for them to go and to actually try a tech career. Diversity, equity, and inclusion is very important to us at UES. We recognize there are many people that come from different locations, uh, they're interested in different things, they have different perspectives and different backgrounds. We think all of those are very important. We've assembled quite a diverse workforce, starting with the founders and our leadership team, and we strive to hire a diverse workforce to make everybody's perspectives valued in what we do. We also try to make sure that if there are opportunities that we can extend to our media community, let's say we're hiring contractors, consultants, we're trying to make sure that we open it up to diverse backgrounds and not just anything that's merit-based or those that we've known immediately within our network. When we started thinking about how we wanted to build the company, we decided that we needed to intentionally make sure that all of the roles where we could actually potentially recruit a diverse and inclusive population, that we were actually interviewing that way. We also think that diversity is not only important in our employee makeup, but also in our supply chain as well, and amongst our customer base. So we try to incorporate that into all aspects of our business. Our work at Amogee is helping to promote a just energy transition for communities around the world by developing our zero emission, zero carbon technology that enables pollution reduction in all major sectors of transportation and heavy duty power. There's an unfortunate correlation between communities of color and bad air quality, and also low income areas as well. The challenge for that is that electric buses happen to cost much more than the dirty diesel and gas buses. We've placed a lot of emphasis on working with state and federal funding programs to match funding for electric school buses to cut the price of them so buses can be placed into the areas that need it most. At Renewable, we take byproducts from food waste, whether it's food production or distribution. We can also take residuals, such as crop residue, at farms and turn that into low carbon or zero carbon emissions products. And if we can make that into a very circular, hyper-local to New York State economy, then we're reducing what is a contributor to 3% of the global greenhouse gas emissions. One of the uh, problems with Guantanamo in general is that most of it happens well at very cold temperatures. And one of the things which Qnect innovated very early on in our, our life as a company was the ability to do quantum science at room temperature. So we don't need the extra sort of energy drain and requirements necessary in order to support devices that would run at cryogenic temperatures. CBIP has helped Amogee in our DEI efforts by introducing us to entrepreneurs from around the area. For example, we got connected with UTS, which has helped us develop our technology prototypes, and CBIP has introduced us to many other such companies doing very interesting things of their own in a community of like-minded entrepreneurs. CBIP was really important to us in the early days to be able to try to make sure the foundation of the company was strong enough to support small business grants, which ended up basically carrying us through the pandemic and allowing us to make our first hires, which led us down the road that we are today, which is, a, I think, a good model, diverse and inclusive organization. So CBIP took a risk on us. We were incubated for roughly four to five years. And by working with them, they gave us the tools. They gave us the access to expertise. They gave us the access to investors. And we couldn't be more thankful because of that.